Well, hello there, my viewers, my subscribers. It is your host. It is Team Rai Rai. How are you doing? And this Monday's edition, I am doing very well. Now is that time once again for review time of last night's preview call TLC, the last preview of 2019. So uh, hopefully everyone tune in and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and I'll give you my review. So here goes nothing. Sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now if you don't do it like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the review of TLC. Let's get this started. Now this event took place at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, home of Brock Lesnar, home of the Minnesota Vikings, and of course, home of the Minnesota Timberwolves, and other stuff in Minnesota. Now, there are, what, nine or eight matches to discuss. Now, when I did my TLC predictions a few days ago. It was not a a full thing. It was not. It was not a full pay per view prediction video. I hate when WWE does not have their matches because SmackDown did not happen yet. So I don't care. I'm just going to discuss it anyway. So, like I said, and when I did my predictions, I don't know if you guys. Watch it. The card at the time was very, very weak. And it still is very, very weak. Okay. The kickoff. Um, Andrade. Um, I don't give a crap about the kickoff match. Sorry. So, this is not going to be the best review. So, I'm just going to skip the kickoff. I don't know if it's worth watching or not. Let me know down below. I could always tune in later. Now, the first match, I think, was very exciting, was the latter match for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The New Day versus um, the Rival. I know I, I did not say that correctly, but it was a very good match. Great opener. And, of course, the New Day retained the belts. Great spots. I really enjoyed this opener. Let me know what you think about the opener. Next match, um, I really was not really into it. Alex Black versus Buddy Murphy. Alex Black pick up the victory. I love Alex Black's entrance. That is awesome. I think it is the the best entrance in the current wrestling for WWE. Let me know down below. So. I think Alex Black should be like in the main event status right now, but probably um, W is gonna take for a while for him to work his way up to the main event status. So this was an okay match. Next match is for the another no, title will be up for grabs, but this time it's for the Raw. The tag team belts, the um, the Vikings Raiders versus. It was an open challenge versus the OC. So the OC lost, and they were very unhappy. And the cool thing was, after match, of course they have KFC because KFC was sponsoring TLC. So I guess they had random people, probably from the crowd, or maybe they work backstage and they just want to be on TV. They got free food and. I think one. I think the Viking Raiders power bomb the OC through a table, or either or. I forgot how it happened, but that part was was cool, and all the food was on top of the. Yeah, the OC went through the table, so it was kind of nasty, but still, it was kind of cool. They went through a table. Next match, TLC match: King Corbin versus Roman Reigns. The build-up was very, very poorly. It sucks. 
And I don't give a crap about this match, but King Corbin won. So um, I don't care. Sorry, I just don't care. Next match is for the WWE Universal Championship. No, sorry, it was non-title match because it was going to be a title match, but I guess WWE changed their mind. The WWE Champion Bray Wyatt versus The Miz. It was no Fiend, it was just Bray Wyatt. He came with the happy music and all that other stuff. It just did not really feel him. I mean, it just not really... F um, it was very kind of stupid, I think. They should have just had a Fiend, but he did show up on screen. He did not talk, but I think they just had him um, just use a photo. is a huge distraction. And guess what? Dana Bryan came out. With a brand new look, he went back to his old look. He looks better on a short hair, in my opinion. So this match was not that great. But I don't know where Daniel Bryan came out, do his moves and awesome things. So I don't know if Daniel Bryan versus Bray Wyatt or AK The Fiend will have a match at Rumble in 2020. Or they will save that match for many of 2020. Who knows? So... That match was very, very short. I was not too impressed. Next match is a table match. Bobby Lashley versus Russo. Now this build-up was absolutely garbage. It literally was. It was awful. Lana is very beautiful. W should just stick her back with her lovely husband, Russo. Did not really divorce. That's just a stupid storyline. Bobby Lashley should be like in... Um, a different storyline, not in a stupid love triangle. I hate when W does this, but whatever. So, Bobby Lashley won. They put him through a table. Russo, so big flipping deal. I love table matches, but this could be the worst table matches in W history. What's your thoughts? Now, the main event. TLC match for the W Women's Tag Team Championships. Now, they had two TLC matches. Uh, the the first one was the men's one. Um, I guess with the Roman and King of Pro King um, Corbin um, pinfalls. Okay, that count now for the women's. The only way you could win is climb the ladder and um, retain the belts or become tag team champion for the women's division. This match was very. Good, okay. There were some good spots, there were some sloppy sp spots, but the Warriors retained their belts. I had a feeling because I don't want to see Becky Lynch be two belt Becky again, or how they said no. She had her moment with two belts, nothing against Becky and nothing against Charlotte. So I was very impressed with the main event. Now, I know a lot of you didn't like the main event, whatever. Um, so, this overall card, it was just very, very weak. You know why? No Kevin Owens, no AJ Styles, no Seth Rollins. I don't know if I mentioned Seth Rollins. And, of course, no John Cena. I made a, I made a video earlier in that day, no John Cena. You know, the possibility he might show up. And, of course, he didn't show up. So, this card was very, very weak. Very sad. They seem like they do this every damn year. They seem like they don't give a crap about the last preview of the year. It's sad. Just get rid of it. Please let me get rid of a preview in December. We don't need a preview in December whatsoever. And that's just how I feel about it. Concentrate on the next preview, Royal Rumble. Have a good build up and that'll be it. You know? It seemed like the writers or the wrestlers don't give a crap about this preview whatsoever. It seemed like they were not really into it. The wrestlers, you know, I mean, I watched it, but it did not really feel like a pay-per-view. It feel like a Raw or a SmackDown, you know? That's a problem with W these days. So many pay-per-views and a lot of you don't give a crap about W because so many pay-per-views. It's awful. And probably, um... The tickets are so cheap. You probably get good seats for TLC. TLC needs to be canceled. And bring back 
on pay-per-view, not on a live event, like Halloween Havoc, someone like that, you know? Or bring back Backlash, or Armageddon. They used to do that for December instead of stupid TLC. TLC sucks. I don't mind a match, but, for, but not a stipulation for a pay-per-view name. That is stupid. Don't ever name a pay-per-view after a stipulation. So stupid. They'll be dumb, dumb, dumb. So, I was not really oppressed with this card. That wraps it up. Everyone out there, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. You know, hopefully, duply. I know it's not Christmas, but it's coming around the corner. So, what a good time to close out 2019 W. I thought you were going to have a good impact last night, but it's a huge fail. Yeah, what is the guys I just mentioned? No Seth Rollins, no Kevin Owens, nothing. What the hell? Are they just saving it for Mania? Or, sorry, are they saving it for Royal Rumble? My guess is, you know, everyone out there, most likely the guys I just mentioned will be on Raw and SmackDown Live to make it up to the fans, I'm assuming. I don't know what W's thinking. Have a good one, and I'll be back tonight for the wrestling, wrestling news return. Later, everyone. Peace out. Let me know what matches you like. Or did not like, or maybe you skip this whole show later.